Hey, what's up, guys? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to another Futwiz player review. This one is highly anticipated, and he goes by the name of Ben Yedda. So then, the French striker now plays his football for Sevilla in La Liga and has been given an 80 rated rare gold item on Fut 17. He has 83 pace, 84 dribbling, 78 shooting, and 76 passing. Of course, he is 5 foot 7 with high, high work rates, right footed, but that doesn't matter because he's got that perfect 5 star weak foot and the nice 4 star skills. Ben Yedda was such a gem in FIFA 16 that I knew I had to try him out early doors in FIFA 17 to see if he still got it and I'm pleased to report it seems as though he has. I got a couple of squad options for you guys today the first being this French team it's a 4-2-3-1 second variant formation which appears to be very strong this year and the squad I actually used him in was a very cheap very budget 3-5-2 La Liga team featuring players such as Ganso at Cam and Bakambu up front. Okay so taking a quick look at Ben Yedda's in-game stats. We can see that by default, without any chem boosts, he has 91 agility, 86 balance, and 84 dribbling. However, playing on 10 chem in a 100 chemistry team, even with the basic chemistry style, those stats increase to the likes of 96 agility, 89 dribbling, and even 87 finishing. That's phenomenal on such a low-rated player. For these reasons, I would recommend sticking with the basic chemistry style on Ben Yedda. However, feel free to click on the player profile page in the description down below so that you can play around with the chemistry styles and find out which one looks best for you. Moving on to the pros and cons for the player then. Of course, we'll start with the negatives first, and they're quite obvious ones. Being a rather small, rather tricky striker, Ben Yedda doesn't really possess much strength. Without boosts, he does only have 57 strength, and of course, he doesn't really have much of an aerial presence either, being only 5'7". But that's okay, these things are to be expected for a striker of this nature. And luckily for Ben Yedda, he has got a whole list of positives that definitely outweigh these minor negatives. Firstly, his agility is absolutely phenomenal. His movement on and off the ball and his ability to just drop a shoulder or do a turn really quickly is outstanding. Partner this with some seriously good ball control and dribbling and you're onto a winner here. With the full basic chemistry style boost, he does move up to 88 ball control and 89 dribbling in game. The ball stays really close to his feet and you are able to execute the LTRT dribbling super effectively. On top of the agility and the dribbling, he's also got these fantastic 4 star skill moves and an awesome 5 star weak foot too. What this does is turn Ben Yedda into a versatile monster. Firstly the 5 star weak foot. It's incredible. I love that I can feel comfortable shooting on either foot. And of course with the 4 star skill moves you're able to pull off lots of chops and spins which really make it difficult for your opponent's defence. And then finally I adore Ben Yedda's finishing. He is a goal machine for sure. Again with that basic chemistry style boost he does go up to 87 finishing in game which is just brilliant really. Honestly one of the most fun players I think I'll use all year. I could not recommend Ben Yedda enough to you guys. So there you have it. I hope you now know whether this guy is right for your ultimate team on FIFA 17. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you next time. Peace.